Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today, of course, is the legend himself, Dr. Huxford. Nice to see you again, sir. Always a pleasure, Troy. Good to see you. Okay, now I wanted to touch on a few different things this morning, if we can. First of all, for someone who suffers from allergies like I do, and it mimicked what I thought in my mind that I had COVID-19, I couldn't catch my breath, I had a runny nose, I was continually sneezing. Is there any fact to that? Well, the, especially this time of year, there's a lot of similarities because of uh, certain people have coughing or sneezing or you know, lots of upper respiratory type symptoms that are their, their typical allergy symptoms that they suffer from year to year. But right now, with the COVID-19, those symptoms can mimic each other. So we don't want all the people who suffer from seasonal allergies to get all scared right now. You know, if, if this is normally something you deal with, you probably don't have COVID. It's just your regular allergies. And that's what we want everyone to know. We don't want people to panic like I did and immediately right. start phoning everyone. And also people who saw me thought that I had that as well, but thank goodness I didn't. But I do want to say it does mimic some form of COVID-19, correct? Uh, yes, because some of the symptoms are run, or of COVID-19 can be running nose, can be sneezing, can be coughing. Uh, most people with COVID will have fever, and most of the time, your routine allergies you want. And that's something that didn't happen to me, but I do want to ask you, how does allergies affect people with asthma? Yeah, especially uh, in our part of the country, um, there it's very common to have what we call allergic asthma. So that's mm -hmm. asthma that's triggered by environmental allergens, certain pollens to trees, grasses, you know, dogs, cat, dust, various things like that. So allergies can trigger asthma. Now, if someone doesn't have asthma, but they have severe allergies, would you be recommending them to go to the doctor and see if ventilators, you know, the little puffers that are, are wise for them to be using? Yeah, they're, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, inhalers, yes. Uh, especially if you have uh, associated with your allergies a cough, not necessarily shortness of breath, yes, especially if you have shortness of breath, but you could just have cough, and that can be your only symptom of asthma. So if it's more than just the watery eyes and the runny nose, it's probably worth getting checked out. Right, and I have been told there are some new injections that are available now for people with severe allergies. Do you want to talk me through that a little bit? Yeah, it's, uh, it's become a more tailored approach for people with allergic asthma. It used to just be inhalers. Uh, and then the uh, traditional allergy shots where you'd go once a week or once every two weeks to the doctor and get shots. But now there's some newer medicines uh, that are, that are uh, based on certain labs that we check called a CBC, among other things. And there'll be shots that maybe once every two weeks, maybe once every two months really? that are new, uh, new treatments for asthma. And I did notice when I was, you know, quite severe with the allergies, my sleep pattern was all over the place. I couldn't rest. Do you find that with your patients? Uh, yes, because oftentimes it affects your breathing or at least through your nose and, uh, and you snore and that can disrupt your sleep or you're just not resting well. So um, it's very common for allergies and asthma to disrupt sleep. If yes. I just suffer from the hay fever, which are giving me symptoms of asthma, do I, should I be going to someone like that or should I be going to my regular GP? Oftentimes a regular GP can handle it, but you know, these days with, with subspecialists fairly available, it's worth going to see them. Typically uh, there's uh, ear, nose, throat doctors, ENTs often do allergy work, you know, skin pricks and blood tests, but then there's also a medical specialty called an allergy immunologist who can do it as well. Well, as always, Dr. Huxford, you give us great information. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Troy. Good to see you. See you next time. If we want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen. Dr. Huxford, all his new details of his new clinic as well. Back after this short break.